Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. My name is Allie. Today's class is going to be a full body workout. So head to toe, we're going to work everything. A lot of compound exercises, so a lot of things that are working multiple muscle groups at the same time. So it's going to be a tough class. Um, so we're not going to be using any equipment today. I want everybody to be able to do this no matter where they are or what equipment they have. However, if you have hand weights, ankle weights, resistance bands, please feel free to add those in. I'll try and cue you where to add those in along the way. Um, but if you do have them, don't be afraid to add those in. Uh, but I am going to demonstrate with no equipment at all. If you've done class with me before, you might notice that I don't have any music playing right now. Um, I am going to start filming these classes with no music in the background, just so you can hear me a little bit better. And also, I do really encourage you to listen to music while you exercise, so me not having my music should let you listen to your music a little bit louder. Um, if you don't have any music that you want to listen to, I'm still going to link a playlist down below just under the video. Still going to keep making you guys playlists. Um, so I really do encourage music for exercise. It just really helps get that little bit of extra. So go ahead and put some music on if you have it. Um, and we're just going to start in a nice warm up. So we're going to try and warm everything up all at once here. So we're going to come onto our hands and knees. I want your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Having your knees separated about hip distance apart. Good, we're just gonna start by finding a nice long neutral spine here. On our exhale, we're gonna use that strong Pilates exhale with those pursed lips as we curl from tailbone to neck, pulling our belly up away from the floor, curling our spine up. And then inhale, I want you to come back through, again, articulating tailbone to neck. We're gonna find some slight extension, pulling chest through shoulders. Exhale again, squeeze through the glutes, pull the belly up, scoop, 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 looking between the thighs. Inhale, coming back through, passing through your neutral, pulling your chest through your shoulders, slight extension. Just two more here, slowly articulating, really thinking about each vertebrae of the spine here. Passing through neutral, pulling your chest through your shoulders. Just one more, using your glutes to help you get a little bit more Curvature through the lower spine. Coming back through to neutral, slightly extending. Good, so now I want you to find your neutral spine. So just find that nice long neutral here. We're just gonna start to warm up through some weight transfer. So we're gonna take a nice deep inhale. On our exhale, we're gonna try and keep everything as still as possible. We're gonna reach right arm forward, left leg up, nice and high. Good, inhale, bring it down, nice and slow. Exhale, left arm forward, right leg nice and high. Inhale, bring it in. Just being very mindful that you're trying to keep your spine, especially your low back, still as you reach. Inhale, pull it down. Just keep going side to side. Exhale as you reach. Inhale, pull it down. Good. Exhale as you reach. Just making sure that low back is staying nice and steady as you bring that leg up. Good. Nice and slow, controlled movements as you bring that arm and leg down. Just two more on each side. Good, finding those core muscles, that deep 360 core connection. I want you to think of your deep core muscles as like a seatbelt around your torso, so tighten that seatbelt, good. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bring it down. Last one on the other side. And inhale, bring it down, good. From here, we're just gonna have our right arm forward, left leg back. So we're gonna hold this position. I want you to keep everything as still as possible. You're gonna reach your right arm towards the right side, left leg out towards the left. Inhale, pull it back in. So everything's staying still. We're just reaching out and back in. So I want you to think of the obliques on the left side, really helping control that leg out to the side. We're keeping our leg up nice and high as we do this. Good, last two. Exhale, out nice and wide. I want you to go really nice and wide with your arm and leg. Last one, pull it in, reach, bring it down. Other side, left arm forward, right leg up. Hold first, and then we just keep everything nice and still as we reach that right leg out to the side. Inhale, pull it in. Right leg out to the side. Inhale, pull it in. Good, keeping the leg high, out and in. Good, keep going here. Shh. Go nice and wide. 
Nice long spine. Finding that core to stabilize against that transfer of weight. Good, last two. Last one, pull it in. Bring your hands and knees down. Good, from here we're just gonna do a quick um, modified plank. So this is a really good way to warm up the shoulders as well. So I want, same position, we're on our wrists, knees underneath the hips, but now I want you to tuck your toes. And then from here, very subtle. First, what I want you to do is round your shoulder blades away from each other. We're not rounding the whole back. We're just rounding the shoulder blades away from each other. And make sure your shoulder blades don't retract towards one another here, okay? So not only are they not retracting, but we're actually pushing the shoulder blades away from each other. And then we're going to inhale on our exhale, just hover your knees just a little bit. Hover those knees off the ground just a little bit. Good. Literally just like an inch off of the ground. And hold. Keep rounding your shoulder blades away from each other. This is a really great way to turn on all those shoulder stabilizers. Keep pushing your shoulder blades away from each other. Good. Thinking of your plank muscles. Pull the belly in. Good. Nice. We hold for 10, 9. Keep holding. Keep pushing those shoulder blades away from each other for 5, 4, 3, 2, the last one. Good. And you can just sit your bum back. You can reverse your wrists. I don't want to keep you on your wrist for too long, so we're going to turn around and we're going to come to a seated position. So for this one, I want you to just have your bum on the ground and then we're going to have our feet um, slightly out in front of us and then we're just going to do some half rollback and then we'll go into the full variation. So we're just going to start to warm up through that spine. So let's start with our arms reaching forward, knees bent. Good. And then we're just going to keep our shoulders away from our ears as we tuck through the tailbone. We curl through the spine. We roll down to the half roll back position. And then we inhale, come up. Good. Exhale. Really think of tucking your tailbone, pulling that low belly in. Inhale, coming up. Good. Inhale, coming up. Allowing your chin to tuck slightly. Shoulders coming down. It's not about how low you go, it's just about getting that nice C shape from your tailbone to your neck. Good. Last three, just warming up in this position and then we're gonna make it harder. Good, pull that belly in, last two. Good. Last one. All right, we're gonna inhale, come up. Now what I want you to do is I want you to lift your uh, right leg up to a tabletop. It's more of a long, elongated tabletop position. Left leg is going to go straight down on the floor. So left leg is straight on the floor. Right leg is up in this tabletop position. What we're going to do is have either hand on outside of the right leg. What we're going to do first is we're going to straighten the leg as we lower the body. And then we're going to come up and clap our hands underneath the calf. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, clap. Inhale, reach away. You can just tap your fingers together if you don't want to clap. So we're coming up to this tabletop position, lengthening, lowering the lower body and straightening the leg, and then coming up, tapping our hands underneath the leg. Good. Nice. Keep going. For six, keep making that nice long shape with the body as you reach away. For three, last two, last one. Tap, hold, bring your right hand behind your thigh for just a moment. Just hold here for me. I want you to straighten the right leg, leave the left leg straight. You're gonna hold your arms out. We're gonna lower the right leg, lift. Lower the right leg, lift, that's it. Lower, lift. Arms are reaching out the branch. Keeping the right leg straight, I know. Just for five more, five, four, last three. Shoulders out of the ears. Last one, and you can come forward. Take a quick little break. Whew. Okay, definitely should have felt some of that right side kicking in here. So we're gonna do the other side. So again, to get into this, you can have your hands behind your thighs. As we roll back, we're gonna straighten that right leg onto the floor. We lift the left leg up to tabletop. If at any point you need to bring your hands behind your thighs, that's a good way to just take a quick break without coming out of it. Good, hands are reaching outside of the leg. And we lengthen, come up, clap, lengthen, Come up. So think the upper body is lowering down, and then we crunch the left side to lift the upper body high. Reach the leg, up, we 
reach. Good. Clap. Lower. Lift. That right leg should be a little bit of extra stability for you on the ground. Reach. Clap. Reach. Clap. Use your breath. Good. For five. Four. Keep pulling that low belly in. Last two. Last one. Hold. Bring your hands behind the thighs. Don't come out of it. We're going to straighten the left leg. I want you to keep that C curve. We're going to reach the arms, lower the left leg, lift. That's it. Lower, lift. Keep the left leg as straight as you can. Keep that upper body nice and still, shoulders out of the ear. Breathing. Good. For five, four, last three, two, last one, and come forward. Whew. That should have been pretty difficult on either side for the abdominals here. All right, from here, we're gonna lie down so you can have your hands behind the thighs as you roll down. Good. So we're just gonna start with a nice subtle um, kind of flexion exercise here. So we're gonna actually keep the feet down. We're just gonna do very basic flexion through the upper body, and then we're gonna add layers to it to make it more difficult, okay? So you can always come back to this first variation if it's just feeling like too much for you. So your hands are gonna come behind your head. Your fingertips are just resting on your head. They're not pulling at the head. Good, your elbows are nice and wide. All we're gonna do is we're gonna just tuck the chin of the chest. We're gonna peel the upper body up nice and high, off of the mat, reaching nice and high, and then inhale, coming back down. Very simple, but not easy. Tuck your chin in your chest. The focus right now is just about getting nice and high. Inhale, come down. Good, so just about getting nice and high every single time and really finding that thoracic flexion. Inhale, come down. Good, so really making sure to use that breath so you tuck your chin in your chest and exhale, we come up. Inhale, down. You can allow your hands to hold some of the weight of the head but not too much. Good. Just finding those muscles between your ribs and hips here. I want you to think of your goggles as suspenders to the front of the stomach. Those suspenders tighten as we pull up. Inhale, lengthen as we come down. Tighten as we pull up. Inhale as we pull down. Good. Nice. All right, I just want six more and then we pulse. Good. Keep using your breath. Four more. Good. Last three. Keep using that exhale. Last two. Last one. I want you to come up nice and high and hold. So come up nice and high. Hold this position at the top and then tiny little pulses. So you're at the top. You're just going higher, higher. Isolating through the front of the stomach. Shh, shh. Keep breathing for 10, 9, 8. Keep going. Shh, shh. For 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. And you can come down. Okay, good job. So from here, I'm going to leave the neck alone for this exercise. Um, so I want you to find what we call imprint in Pilates. So what that means is that when we have a neutral spine, we have a little bit of space under our low back because we have that natural curve through the low back, okay? If you don't have space in your leg, you'll feel that natural curve through the low lumbar spine. So what we do for imprint is we use our abdominals in the front of the stomach to pull that low back onto the mat and tucking our tailbone so we're in a strong imprint position. So come back to initial for me. We're just gonna do a couple more. I want you to think that there's a blueberry under your low back and as we find imprint, we squish that blueberry, making sure it's coming from those suspenders, right? Those abdominals through the front of the stomach. Inhale, come back to neutral. So it's a very subtle movement. We exhale, squish the blueberry. Inhale, come back to neutral. Just two more for me. Inhale, back to neutral. Last one. Okay, great. So now what I want is I want you to find that imprint and then hold it. So find that nice, strong imprint. We're going to bring each leg up to a 90 degree position here. So I want a nice 90 degree bend. And I really want you to think about focusing on that imprint. So 
making sure you can't slide your hand underneath your low back. Good, so once you have your imprint, I want you to reach your arms up towards the ceiling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate side to side. So first thing that's gonna happen is we're just gonna tap our right toe down towards the floor, keeping the bend in the knee. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, tap the left toe. Inhale, bring it in. That's level one. So you're just tapping one toe away at a time. It's very important that you go slow and that you keep this 90 degree bend. So one leg reaches away at a time. Good. I want you to think of your core again as that seat belt. So really tighten from the inside out throughout the core, front to back, 360. Good. All right, from here, you can continue just doing the legs. Otherwise, we're gonna add a little bit of spice to it. So please feel free to just do the legs if you're not interested in the spice. What we're gonna do is same arm, same leg. So right arm, right leg, reach away, inhale, pull it up. Left arm, left leg, bring it up. Keeping that 90 degree bend in the leg, we just reach and bring it up. You should feel those obliques working as that arm and leg reaches away. It's way harder to do the same side, so if you wanna do opposite arm and leg instead, that makes it just a little bit easier, but still hard. Otherwise, same arm, same leg, a little bit more of an oblique focus. Exhale away, inhale up. Exhale away, inhale up. Keep going for me, keep pulling that low belly in. Inhale up. Good. Keep in mind, the further away you tap that toe, the harder it gets. Good. Keep going for me here. We have three more on each side. Good. Two more on each side. One more on each side. Yes, you can. And inhale, take a break, pull the knees in. Okay, so we're going to move into what we call scissors. So this one has quite a lot of challenge um, through the legs, the hip flexors, but of course mostly through the abdominals and the core. Um, so if your legs aren't completely straight in this one, don't worry if you need to bend them a little bit. Okay, so to get into this one, again I want you to find that strong imprint and I want you to keep that imprint for me. We're going to bring one leg up at a time and then you're going to straighten Again, straight-ish. I have really tight hamstrings today, so my legs might even just be slightly bent um, to get into it. So hands are gonna come behind the head. You're just gonna pull your upper body up nice and high, and then you're gonna reach your arms long. Then you're gonna reach your legs long onto a diagonal, and this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna scissor the legs apart, and we pulse at the bottom, then we scissor again, pulse at the bottom for two. So the legs are separating, and then pulse, Pulse, separate again, pulse, pulse, scissor, pulse, pulse, scissor, pulse, pulse. If it's too much for you with the head up, you can leave the head down and do just the legs. The arms are reaching, but if you want the arms behind the head, that's also a great option, all right? So let's keep going here. So the legs are starting on the diagonal, arms reaching, and we pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch, keeping your leg long, Pulse, get further on the second pulse. Good. Keep breathing. Good, just two more on each side. One more on each side. And pull it in, take a quick break. We're going to do that again, and then we're gonna add some pulsing, okay? <laughs> of course. Okay, so again, if you felt hip flexors, quads, hamstrings, you're not alone. Try to just really focus on the abdominals, pulling the upper body high, and then lower abdominals, keeping that strong imprint against the weight of the legs. Okay, so when you're ready, straighten your legs, and then we're gonna pull our upper body up nice and high. Arms are, our legs are starting on a diagonal, reaching through the arms, let's go. It's not too fast, pulse, good. Last two on each side, then we're gonna add some spice. One more on each side. Good, hold here for me. I want you to keep your left leg up, 
right leg low, we just reach further, reach further, pulse into the upper body. For five, four, three, two, one, pull the legs in, hold the upper body high, switch the legs, right leg up, left leg long, and then arms reach, we just reach further, further. Reach, reach, reach. For five, four, three, two, last one. And pull it down. Good job, guys. Okay. Let's come on up to seated. So you can bring your hands behind your thigh, pull yourself up. Good job. Um, so from here, I want you to come onto um, your hands and knees again. So we're starting on our wrists. Again, I'm not going to keep you on your wrists for too long. Um, I just want to start to warm up through the arms um, with some push-ups and then we're going to move into some harder variations of push-ups and single arm work. So I want your knees to start behind your hips and then you're just going to bring your hips forward so that you're in this nice long line position. So hands are underneath the shoulders, finding this nice long line through the body. In a modified push-up, I don't want your hips back here. Okay, I need you to bring them forward so that you're in this long line with the body. If you want to do full push-ups, please go right ahead. Otherwise, we're going to start with modified. So take a nice deep inhale, keeping your neck long, head up. You're going to lower yourself down, bring your chest to the floor, tap the fingers in front, pull them back beside the chest, and then exhale, push up. If you've done class with me before, you'll know this one. It's one of my favorite ways to warm up through the arms and shoulders. So we lower down all the way, tap the arms in front, bring them back, and press up. Try and think when you're pressing up, think of that chest press sensation. So think of everything lifting up at the same time. Good, lower down, tap in front, pull it back, press up. Again, if you're doing this from a full push-up push -up position, same thing, lower all the way down, just making sure that when you push up, try and think everything lifting together. So no worming shapes. Lower down, tap, push up. A nice explosive push up here. Lower down, tap, good. All right, just two more of those. Should be feeling some things turning on through the shoulders and the arms. Good. Lower down, tap, hands beside the chest. Exhale, push up for me from here. We're gonna lower down just halfway. So lower down halfway into your push up, elbows wide, and then we pulse down an inch up, down an inch up. Shh. Keep your head up. I don't want your head to drop down. Keep your neck long. Pull the belly in. Shh. Shh. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Push the hands on the bum back. Good, just take a quick little break here. And slowly roll up. I just wanted to turn the arms on um, before we start doing some more full body stuff because we're gonna start to work arms and legs um, kind of at the same time here. So we're gonna come up to a standing position. Um, this is the only standing thing we're gonna be doing today. So it's just again, just to turn on through the legs and those big muscle groups through the glutes and hamstrings. So I want you to stand um, at the back of your mat or on your floor. Just make sure you have some room in front of you. Okay, and then we're just gonna start off with some nice wide squats. So not sumo, super wide squats. I just want your feet slightly wider than your hips with about a 45 degree turnout. So your feet should look like this, not like that. A nice turnout through the feet. Good, we're just gonna focus on pulling that low belly in Keeping this long line, as we squat down, I want you to think sending your hips down and back, arms reach forward, and then we exhale, come up, and I want you to pull your hands behind you so you can really accentuate this thrusting motion at the top. So again, we sit down nice and low, constantly think of pulling that belly in, and then exhale, thrust. So just think of this long line through the spine, keeping that long line, as you sink the hips down and back, and then thrust it up. 
Good. Sit down and then thrust. If your knees don't like the turnout, you don't have to do it. You can bring your feet a little bit more narrow and just do a normal squat. Lower down, thrust up. Good. Keep going here. So really sink down nice and low. Weight is into the heels. And then exhale, thrust it up. I really want you to think of that at the top. Okay, really thrust the hip. Sink down and up. Good. There's really no better way to warm the legs up than using your own body weight. Good. And up. keep thinking of sending those knees outwards so that they don't cave. Sinking down, pulling the belly in. Really putting the weight into the heels of the feet here. Good. Just for four. Last three. Last two. On your next one, I want you to sit down nice and low. You know I love pulsing. So sit down nice and low, pull the belly in, and then from here, making sure you're not arching here, just really pull the belly in, and then we pulse down, down, down. Good, nice and slow, pulse, pulse, pulse. Getting as low as you can, slow and controlled pulses. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, come up and thrust. From here, we're just gonna go, bring our arms up nice and high, and then we're gonna fold the body forward, bending in the knees, planting the hands, walk your hands forward into a nice high plank position, and from here, we're gonna lift the right leg. We pull the right knee in, hold, tilt at the hips, pull it back into center, send it back. Left knee pulls in, then we rotate to point the left knee to the right, pull it back. Center, twist, center, back. Center, twist, center, back. So think of this as a hip dip every time, just with that extra leg added in. So leg, twist, center, back. Knee in, twist, center, back. Shoulders should be working nice and hard. In, twist, center, back. In, twist, center, back. Good. Two more on each side. One on the left. One more on each side. Left one. And send it back. You can come onto your knees or just start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Slowly roll up. Come back to our standing position. We're going to do that again. One more time. So we're going to go into squats. Then we're going to walk back out to those climbers again, okay? So when you're ready, again, finding that nice wide position through the feet, and then we're going to think of keeping that long line, and then we sink down nice and low, thrust it up. Down nice and low, thrust, sinking down, and thrusting up. Again, just really focusing on sinking the weight into your heels, focusing on that Thrust at the top. Think of spiraling your glutes towards one another at the top. Sink low, up and thrust. Down, thrust. Good. Sending your knees out as you come down because they do like to cave in sometimes. So really focus on keeping those knees nice and wide. Good. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Again, just really focusing on those big muscle groups. Turning on and up. Just for five before we pulse. Good. Using your breath. Inhale down. Up. Good. Last two before we stay down. All right, on your next one, sink down nice and low for me. Pull the belly in, low, 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 and then pulse lower, lower, lower. Good. Nice. Keep going. In the heels, sticking in the heels. For six. Good. Three, two, last one. 
come up the rest, stepping back towards the back of your mat, and then again, arms come up nice and high, we fold forward, bend at the knees, plant the hands, walk them forward, one more set of climbers, so again, you're pulling the belly in, let's start with the left knee, pull the left knee in, twist, center, back, right knee in, twist the hips, center, back, left, shh, go nice and slow, right, shh, back, left, shh, back, right, keeping your head up, nice long, straight line through the body, shh, keep breathing, should be feeling those shoulders, two more on each side, shh, one more on each side, last one, send it back, Okay, from here, just come on your knees and take a little break. You can roll your wrists out. Good. Good job. Okay, so from here, we're just going to do a little bit of extension work. Um, we are going to do two sets of this, so just keep that in mind during the first set. So give yourself some time to really learn this exercise if you haven't done it before. So we're gonna lie down onto our stomachs. I need you to make sure you have room around you. So you need to be able to move your arms and move your legs, okay? So if you have water bottles or anything, just get them out of the way. I'm definitely gonna kick my plant, but it's fine. <laughs> um, so I want your hands out in front of you. You're gonna pull your shoulders down your back. You're going to have your legs externally rotated. So I want you to think your legs are pointing to the outside corners of your mat or your room. So really find those glutes and hamstrings, external rotation through the hips here. With the shoulders down your back, all we're going to do is we're going to tap our nose to the floor, and then we're going to lift up from the neck, chest, mid-back, all four limbs lifting at once. Inhale, bringing down. If that was too much for you right away, a really great modification is right arm, left leg, bringing it down. So you can do opposite arm and leg, and you can alternate side to side, one leg and arm at a time. Otherwise, when you're ready, keep going with all four limbs lifting. So really pulling your belly up off the floor, lifting up, you're making a smiley face with your body. Inhale, pull it down, tap your nose. Lifting up, lift, 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 pulling it down. Making sure that when you lift up, you're not hyperextending at the neck. Your gaze should actually stay on the floor. Okay, so you're just lengthening your neck as you lift, but your gaze is not coming too high. Good. Glutes and hamstrings, core, and mid-back muscles are really going to feel this one. Inhale down. Good. Just five more before we pull. Good. Keep using your breath. Pull your belly up off the floor before you lift. Inhale, bring it down. Three more. We're going to pulse at the top. In two. Pulling your belly up. You will feel your low back muscles working here, but make sure your core is on so you can protect that low back. Okay, on our next one, we're going to lift up and hold. So lift up nice and high. Hold. I want you to stay here. You're going to pull your elbows behind, inhale forward. So it's like a row position with the upper body, but we're keeping everything up at the same time. So lifting high, hold, elbows back, forward, back, forward. So feel those mid-back muscles pulling your shoulder blades down your back. Good. For five, mid-back muscles lifting nice and high. Three, two, Last one, and come down. Just rest your head on the floor for a moment. Whew. You're going to plant your hands beside your chest. You're going to push yourself up. Let's just reverse that extension work with a little bit of flexion stretch. So you're going to just pull your body into this shell position. So really pull your belly away from your thighs, reaching your arms forward and just stretch here. We're just reversing that extension of the spine, 
by flexing from tailbone to neck. Come on up. All right, so we're gonna move into one of my favorite combos. So again, if you've done classroom before, you've definitely done this leg workout, but we're adding an upper body component to it. So it's very nice, I love this one. So we're gonna come again onto hands and knees. Um, if your wrists are bothering you, I do ask that you come down onto your forearms for the beginning of this exercise because we need to be on our hands for the second half. So if you need to come on your forearms, that's a great option for the leg portion. And then when we combine leg and arm, I'm gonna need you on your hands, okay? So if you need to come on your forearms, go there now. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. From here, we're just gonna start by taking, leaving our left knee down and then we're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna pull it up towards the ceiling. I want you to think of pulling your heel towards your bum, making sure your heel doesn't go away from you, pulling it towards your bum as you lift high, and then inhale, pull it down. So you really wanna focus on keeping a nice, long, stable, uh, neutral spine as the leg lifts up, inhale down, good. Inhale down. So you're really thinking, it's almost like you have an elastic band between your right heel and your right bum. So really think of keeping that right heel pulled in nice and tight towards the right bum. Good. So you're just lifting up and down, finding that ball of muscle through the right side of glutes as you lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. I really want you to just focus on the plank sensation as well. So if you want more core work here, you can reach your left arm forward and you can hold this plank position as you move the leg. It's a really great way to just add more core work and more shoulder work for that right arm that is stabilizing on the ground. Otherwise, both hands down, still great variation. Really thinking of pulling your belly up, avoiding arching through the spine here. I want you to keep that low back nice and steady, just like in our very first warm up, right? Good. All right, just three more. Last two. On your next one, I want you to lift it up, hold, hold at the top, tiny pulses. Lift, lift, lift. Good. Keep going here. For seven, keep your neck long, head up. Four, three, two, one. Pull the knee down. From here, we're going into the upper body portion. So if you're on your forearms, I need you to come back up onto your hands. Same leg is working. We're gonna straighten the right leg. The toes are on the floor. And then all we're gonna do, hands are starting under your shoulders. You're gonna lift that right leg up nice and high, as high as you can go. You're going to keep that right leg high and straight and all we're gonna do is tricep dip our chest down and up. So notice how when I come down, I'm keeping that long line through the body. So the right leg is up nice and high, and then all we're doing is triceping our chest down and up. So it's just a tricep dip. Your elbows are coming straight towards your hips and up. Elbows are coming straight behind and up. You don't have to go super low if it's too much for your triceps. Okay, but keep that right leg up, lower down, and lift. Long line through the body, good. Right leg is up super high the whole time. Just five more, four more, last three, last two, last one. And you can bring that right leg down, sink your bum back. Whew. So it's hard to keep that right leg up as we tricep dip, right? So it's a really great way to work everything at the same time. So we're gonna do another set of those Superman lifts here. So I want arms reaching forward, making sure you have space around you to lift everything up. Arms are out to the width of the mat. Legs are externally rotated to the width of the mat. Okay, so I really need you to think, before we come up every time, you pull your belly up off the floor. I know it feels awkward working in this position, 
uh, but that's because we need to do it more. All right, so if it feels really weird for you, that probably just means you need to strengthen those muscles a little bit more. So pull your shoulders down your back, tapping your nose just to make sure we come to that straight spine first. Then we lift, legs, arms, lift nice and high. Inhale, coming down. Again, remembering that you can go to the opposite arm and leg, single side. Good, otherwise, everything lifting at the same time. Initiate, core, lift the stomach, glutes and hamstring, mid back muscles, lifting that chest high. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Good. Lift, high, high, high. And bring it down, making sure you're pulling, pulling your shoulders down out of your ears. So pull your shoulder blades down your back, lift, and lower. Good. Lift, and lower. Last three. Good. Last two. On your next one, you know what to do. We lift up nice and high, hold it high, and then we pull the elbows back, reach. Pull the elbows behind, reach forward. Keep your head up. Chest is lifting high with those mid-back muscles. Shh. Keep squeezing through the glutes and hamstrings to lift the legs. Shh. For four. Shh. Three. Shh. Last two. Last one. Shh. And come down. Oh, just enjoy laying down for one second. But don't fall asleep on me. <laughs> I could totally fall asleep right now. Okay, let's plant the hands, press up. And again, important to just reverse that extension with some flexion. So just pull your belly away from your thighs and just hold this position. Good. Find your tailbone and then create a nice big C shape from your tailbone to your neck. And you can roll it up. All right, so we're gonna go to that all fours position here. So again, it's really important that if you need to be off of your wrist, you start the first half on your forearms, same thing for the legs, and then the second half I need you up on your hands for those tricep dips, okay? So coming on to knees underneath the hips, Hands underneath the shoulders. All right, so when you're ready, we start keeping that left knee bent. All we do is lift it up towards the ceiling, lower it down. Up towards the ceiling, again, thinking of that elastic bend between the heel and the bum. So keep pulling that heel in towards your bum. Inhale down. If you want more challenge, you're gonna reach your right arm forward and it's just gonna be that extra core challenge and left shoulder work. Otherwise, both hands down is great. Really just focusing on that left set of glutes, forming that big ball of muscle at the top, feeling your hamstrings pulling that heel in. Good. If you do class with me, you might notice that uh, we do this one pretty much any time we're working through the legs. Um, a, it's because it's just so good for us. We're working our core balance, and it's such a great way to use our body weight to get those glutes and hamstrings. But also, when we're doing mat Pilates, it is really important that we do things that work a lot of different things at once. So right now we're doing shoulders, core, and of course, the left leg. Good, lifting up. So you'll feel that right leg starting to work for you as well, because it's stabilizing, right? Good. Keep pulling the heel in. Let's do two more before we pulse. On your next one, lift it up nice and high. Hold, pulse, pulse, pulse. Heel to ceiling, heel to ceiling. Keep breathing, head up. Good, for 10, nine, Eight, keep breathing. Core is strong for four, three, two, one. Pull the knee down. Okay, let's.
let's reset yourself. If you're on your forearms, come back up onto your hands for me. All right, you ready for this? <laughs> Left leg straightens. Find that nice strong position between both arms, equal weight in both hands. We lift that left leg up nice and high. We keep it high. And then all we do is we keep that long line through the body as we bend the elbows, lower the chest in front of the hands, and press it back up. So the chest is coming forward in line with or in front of the hands. Left leg is staying still. And you're just thinking of your whole body from your armpit to your toes in a nice long line the whole time. Lower, lift. You're just tilting this shape. So you keep this shape and when you bend the elbows, you tilt forward and press up. Good, feeling those triceps. Keep the leg high, high, high. Good. Bend those elbows straight back towards your hips. Okay, three more. Last two. Last one. Press up. Pull the knee down. Sink your bum back. Just roll your wrists out. Whew. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but it is so hot in my house right now. Whew, I'm really feeling this. Okay. Great work. So you should be feeling quite a lot of things right now. Um, we're gonna go into some side bum work and then we're going to do some inner thigh work, side plank, and then we'll finish off with some legs. So I want you to have your right elbow underneath your right shoulder. If you have any shoulder issues and you don't like being up in this position, then please feel free to just lie down and rest your head in your arm. Um, otherwise, it is really nice to hold this position because it simulates a modified side plank. So this should feel a good amount of core work, oblique work, and shoulder work. We're just gonna keep our hips stacked here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the left leg up and down. So when I say stacked, I mean left hip directly on top of the bottom hip. So top hip stacked. I don't want that top hip rolling back. So as the leg lifts up, your kneecap stays pointing forward. We stay parallel. We do not creep into external rotation and we do not let that hip roll back. Okay, so lifting that leg straight up and down. That's it, up and down. Keep going. I'm just gonna keep giving you some little form checks here. So again, making sure that you're strong in that right shoulder. Okay, it's really easy to chill out into that right shoulder, so don't let yourself sink into that right shoulder. Really constantly think, it's almost like there's a little chihuahua underneath your waistline here, and you don't wanna squish the cute little chihuahua. Okay, so you gotta keep pulling your waist away from the floor. Good, lift, lower, lift, lower, good. Keep going. You're going to start to feel those side bum muscles working for you here. Good. All right, we're just going to do one more. Then you're going to bring the leg down. We're going to go into circles. So we're going to lift that leg up, keep it long. Try to keep your kneecap pointing forward the whole time. And then we're going to circle forward, up and back. Forward, up and back. You can use your top hand in front of you for balance, support. Okay, as that leg moves around though, I want you to try and keep your hips stacked. Just the leg moving here. So try to keep those hips on top of one another. Good. Nice. Two more this way, and then we're gonna reverse. All right, last one. Hold, quick little break. Lift the leg up, reverse the circle. Go back, up, and forward. Back, up, and forward. Nice long leg here. Circles the same size as they were the first direction. How's my little chihuahua doing under your waistline? Okay, try not to squish them. Reversing the direction here. Whatever way you weren't just going. Good. For four, three, Last two, last one, good. Bring
bring the legs down, quick little break. From here, we're all gonna come down to lie our head down into our arm. So I want you to come completely down onto your right side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that top leg that we were just working, we're just gonna bend at the knee and bring our foot in front of the body. Ooh, you're gonna feel that hip potentially freaking out because we were just working through that side. So what's happening is your top leg is your kickstand in front of the body. So your top leg is just keeping everything nice and still. So keeping the top leg in front of you slightly with that knee bent, you're gonna point the toes on the bottom leg and all we're gonna do is use the inner thighs to lift the leg up and down. Lift the bottom leg up and down, good. So I want you to feel those inner thighs working here. You can rest your head into your hand or you can lay completely down. Good. So really just focusing again on those hips being stacked and you're just lifting the bottom leg up and down. Good. Keep using the exhale. I want you to really look at the bottom leg. Make sure it's staying in center. I don't want it traveling behind the body. And you're lifting it up nice and high. Good. Higher. A little bit higher with that top, that bottom leg. Good. Reach higher. All right, to really feel this one, we're gonna do six more and then we're gonna pulse. Five, lift higher for me. You should feel those inner thighs on that bottom leg. Last three, last two. On your next one, lift the bottom leg up. Hold at the top, tiny pulses at the top. Lift, 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 lift. Shh, shh. You're keeping the leg high the whole time. Lift, lift, lift for six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Whew. You should really feel the inner thighs on that bottom leg. All right, we're gonna do a quick side plank and then we're gonna roll over to the other side. We're almost done here, all right? Stay with me. So I want you to find your right elbow underneath your right shoulder. All right, so we've done flexion of the spine, extension of the spine, now we have to do lateral flexion. All right, so that's what side plank is. So right elbow under the right shoulder. You can have your bottom knee down. Otherwise, we're gonna come up into a full side plank, top hand reaching. It can be on the hips as well. And we're just gonna hold. If your bottom knee is down, think of just getting your hips nice and high and hold. Good. Keep holding for me. Get those hips a little higher and just hold. We're gonna dip it out. So when you're ready, hips come down halfway up, down halfway up. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, and you can come down. Whew, good job. Okay, let's roll over onto the other side. We're gonna do all of that on the other side, and then we finish off with our last exercise. Okay, so lying down onto your left elbow. Again, if you need to lie down all the way right away, that's totally fine. It's still the same amount of work pretty much for the legs. It just makes, takes away that shoulder work on the left side and that core work as much. So legs are nice and long, hips are stacked again. Do not let that top hip roll back. Keep it stacked on top of the bottom hip. So when you're ready, kneecap points forward, no external rotation. All we're doing, lifting the legs straight up and down. Straight up and down. <sighs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm dying right now, it's so hot in my house. <laughs> so hot right now. This is hot Pilates. Really, for me it is anyways. Whew. So just keep on breathing, stay with me. Just know that if you're struggling at this point, you're not alone. All right, keep thinking of that little chihuahua underneath your bottom waistline. 
and just get out of your head and stay with me here. Tell yourself that you can and just keep going. Okay, kneecap pointing forward, finding those side bone muscles, making sure that top hip doesn't roll away on you. If you even need, you can lean slightly into your front hand. That can really help make sure that you don't roll back with those hips. Last two, last one. Come down, take a quick little moment. We're gonna go into circles. So when you're ready, lift the leg up. We circle forward, up and back, or whatever direction you wanna start. I don't care, because we're gonna reverse it anyway. So just remember which way you're circling. Good. Again, really trying to not chill out into that left shoulder here. I really want that nice modified side plank on that left side. Good, for four, three, Last two, last one. You can take a quick little break. I know I need to. Okay, switch. Other side, other way, whatever circles you weren't just doing. So back, up, and forward for me. Good. Keep breathing. Good. Again, pulling that bottom waistline up, kneecap pointing forward. Good. Stay with me here. All right, four more. Going into that inner thigh workout. Last two, last circle. And bring your leg down. Okay, let's lay down into our left arm. Ah, oh, it should feel nice. Okay, so again, I need your top leg to come forward as a kickstand, okay? So you're just bending the knee, planting the foot. That foot's just helping us kind of transfer our weight slightly forward so that bottom leg can lift up and down without moving back or forth. Top hand in front of you for some balance support, pointing the toes on the bottom leg. Again, you can be up onto your elbow and resting your head into your hand like this. And then when you're ready, all we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the leg up and down. Up and down. Keep that top hip stacked. Don't let it roll back. Lift and lower. Good. Keep breathing for me. Again, really focusing on thinking about your inner thighs on the bottom leg, right? The more you think about them, the more connection you're gonna get and the harder they'll work, hopefully. Good. Keep going for me here. Get a little bit higher every time. A little bit higher. You know we're going to start to work into pulses, but first we have to work this full range to really get those inner thighs turned on. It's hard to work inner thighs without weight. So this is a really great way to use the weight of your leg as you lift up and down with the inner thighs. Higher, all right. Let's do three, two, you know what to do. On your next one, lift it up to the top, pulse, 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 tiny pulses at the top. Higher, higher, woo, you're gonna feel it. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just relax. Okay. Coming on to our left elbow. I know. I know you probably don't want a side plank right now, but we gotta do it. We gotta even it out. So again, if you need to have that bottom knee down, please go there. Um, but try and do the same thing that you did for the other side. So if you didn't have the bottom knee down on the other side, try and do a full one here. Otherwise, when you're ready, do whatever you can. Come on up and reach the right arm up or have the head on your hip and just hold. Focusing on getting your hips up nice and high, find the long line through the body, hold. Shh. Hips higher, higher, higher. All right, we're gonna dip it out. So when you're ready, down halfway up, down halfway up, down, up, down, up for six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold, 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 hold. I come down. Oh, okay. Let's finish 
finish off, you might be wondering why we haven't done hip rolls yet. <laughs> no, you weren't wondering that? Okay, well that's fine. But we're saving it for the end. Oh, it's the best exercise to finish with because it just destroys those glutes and hamstrings. What more could you want really to do that? Okay, so I want your heels close enough to your fingers that you can almost touch them with your fingertips or actually touch them with your fingertips. Feet are separated hip distance apart. And then I need you to just find that nice neutral spot. So remember in the beginning of class, we were talking about our imprint and our neutral, squishing the blueberry, unsquishing the blueberry. Um, so we're kind of gonna pass through that imprint. So hands are gonna be down by our sides for the first couple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck our tailbone Roll through that low back. So pass through that imprint. Pull your low back onto the floor. And then we roll up nice and high. Good. We're at the top here. I want you to just hold at the top so we can talk about a few things first. So I need you to have a long line from your armpits to your knees. I need your ribs down. So think ribs are kind of like duct tape down towards the floor. Ribs go down as the hips go up. So think of your tailbone going up. P or ribs going down. Good, hold at the top, and then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Get that low back to touch, hopefully. Inhale, come back to neutral. Just one more with the hands down. So roll on up one vertebrae at a time. I want you to hold at the top. Again, we stop in between the shoulder blades, so don't go any higher than that little space between the shoulder blades. Ribs down, hips up. Inhale, hold, exhale, roll down. Okay, from here, your arms are gonna come up towards the ceiling. That's less support, so if you need to keep your hands down, that's totally fine. Otherwise, we're gonna exhale, roll up, one vertebrae at a time, hold at the top. Inhale, roll down, one vertebrae at a time, good. Thinking of your spine as like a string of beads, and you're moving one bead at a time. Good. Hold at the top, roll down. Again, if you need to bring even just your elbows down, that's a good way to just start to work towards having the arms up. Good. Last one. Good, roll on down. All right, so arms are gonna be up. Again, that's optional. This time we're gonna roll up through the spine. Hold at the top. You should really feel your glutes on. So I want you to think of each butt cheek and think of spiraling towards one another. So really just squeezing your bum as hard as you can, spiraling your glutes towards one another. From here, ribs stay down. All we're gonna do is sink the hips all the way down so that we tap the bum, lift back up. So we're not articulating through the spine, we're just folding at the hips, lift. Tap the bum down, lift. Tap the bum down, lift. Making sure that you don't let your ribs stay up as your hips come down. I want you to allow the ribs to come down with the hips, up. Down with the hips, up. Good, Woo. You're gonna feel those glutes, hopefully. If you're feeling any low back here, I need you to just really focus on pulling your ribs to your hips, tucking your tailbone, thinking of that imprint sensation the whole time to help avoid arching through the low back. Lower, lift. If you're feeling anything in your knees, you can walk your feet a little bit further away from you and that might help just release some of the pressure if you're feeling that. Good, for four, three, last two, last one. Hold at the top, hold, hold, hold. This time we pulse down just a couple inches, right back up. Just a couple inches, right back up. Down, up. Tiny pulses, down, up. Tuck the tailbone at the top, tuck the tailbone at the top. Lower, lift, lower, thrust. Thinking of that thrust every time you come up. Shh. Coming to that nice high position for six, I know, five. You're feeling it, I know. Last three, Shh. two, Last one, hold at the top, roll back down, hold for me. We're gonna do that all again. Just gonna do those pulses and then we're done. So 
Just empty your tank from here. Don't leave anything left over. Give me all you got. When you're ready, tuck in your tailbone, flatten the low back. Come up nice and high, hold at the top. Again, arms down, great option if you need to go there. Same thing, you just lower down halfway, up. Down halfway, up. So if your arms are down, same thing. You're just lowering and lifting, letting your ribs come down. Again, not allowing your ribs to stay up. I want them to come down with you. Good. So we're tapping the bum, up. Tapping the bum, up. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Just six more of these, and then we finish off with the tiny pulses, then you're down for four. Three, last two, last one. Hold at the top, don't give up. Keep going with me, we drop down a little bit, up. Down a little bit, up. I know, just think of thrusting, thrusting. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Good, shh, shh. Keep breathing for me here for 10, nine, yes you can. Eight, squeezing those glutes towards one another. Shh, shh. For five, four, three, two, Last one, hold on the top up, and roll down. Rest your hands beside you. Ooh, pull your knees in towards your chest. Just take a moment. Slowly stretch out your legs here. All right, let's interlace our fingers behind our thigh as we roll up. All right, so, that's it. <laughs> We're all done. Um, usually, I'm feeling kind of nice today because usually I finish with a nasty plank. So you're welcome that I didn't finish with the plank. Whew, I, I hope you guys are feeling that just as much as me. That was a great full body workout for me. Uh, lots of things working at the same time. Um, if you ever want to do this class again and you don't have time to do the whole thing, don't be afraid to do the first half or the second half, and then you can just work around whatever works for you. I know some of my classes are a bit longer, so um, just do what you can and then finish it off later. So it's always a great option. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I always say it, but I would love to hear about what you guys want, any requests. Uh, please don't hesitate to put your requests in the comments below. I read those comments and I care. I really care about what you want. So if there's anything you're thinking of, please let me know these classes are for you. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Bye.